outline freeze frame transitions are out. The new wave literally is distort wave transitions. I have a free preset for Premiere Pro in the link down in the description below. I also have 22 freeze frame transitions in my store right now for only $10. If you want to help me out and motivate me to make more tutorials, like and subscribe for free stuff and follow my IG. None of you are following my IG. The very first thing you want to do is you want to import the presets, whether it be the free one or the 20 of them. All you have to do is in your effects panel in Premiere Pro, just go to your presets folder, right click it, import presets, navigate to wherever you put the presets, click on them and click open. Now, once you do that, you'll have a folder in your presets folder. So open up your presets folder and you should have this flame boy freeze frame transitions, open that up. And then you ha either have all of them or, you know, one of them. So let's do this. So just like all my cutout transitions. So here, let's take a look at this first. So here's my clip hard cut and then a hard cut. So let's do this first freeze frame transition. How I like to do it, you guys should already know, is I like to select the second clip, put my cursor right in the middle, hold alt, drag it up. It'll make a duplicate of the second clip. Right click the second clip, add frame hold, make sure your cursor is at the beginning and now you should have a frame, just a single frame. Make sure your second clip is selected. Go to effect controls panel. Under opacity, click this little free draw bezier tool and then make a outline around your masked object, whichever you want to do. And take your time on it, but you guys don't. There you go. So now we have a cutout of him while the clip still goes. So now it comes to your preference. A lot of people like to have very long cutout transitions. I like mine at 10 frames per second in a 24 to 30 frames per second sequence. So you have to take that into account too if you're editing in a 60 frames per second sequence and you have a five frame cutout transition, it's gonna be super fast. So this one is 30 frames per second sequence, meaning that these clips are based off 30 frames per second, right? So I'm gonna use a 10 per frame per second cutout. So to do that, I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna press this little button right here, this step forward one frame. I'm gonna click that twice. Now that's gonna step forward 10 frames and I'm gonna cut the freeze frame. I'm gonna delete the excess and I'm gonna move the freeze frame to the left over the second clip. Now obviously the freeze frame is ugly, but you know, make yours look better. Now. What you want to do is to do the effect, you always want to nest your freeze frame. So right click on your freeze frame just by itself and click nest. Trust me, it's it won't work unless you do it. So after you nested your freeze frame, go to your effects and then just, um, just all you need to do is drag the effect you want. You just need to drag it onto the nested clip. Now, if you look at it, you'll have the wave transition. Now I'm going to show you real quick on how to customize this for your own soothing and then I'll show you how to do it from him into the wave and kind of it disintegrates kind of how young boy did it. You, you'll see it on your screen right now. So here, let me go back. Sorry. So we have this, let's say I want it to go from left to the middle as in like it come in from the left to the middle. I'm just going to make sure my cursor is at the first frame of the nested sequence. Go to effect controls, make sure the nested sequence is selected. I'm gonna move the position. I'm gonna keyframe the position first and I'm gonna move the position to the left and I'm gonna go about two frames till the nested sequence is finished and I'm just gonna click this reset parameter and now it'll go from the left right to like a cutout transition. Now let's move on to the um, him disintegrating into the wave distort and then move in like, you know, kind of him just going to a store and then into this transition, if that makes sense. So I want to go to the last frame of this clip, which is right here. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to just elongate the bottom clip so I can right click on it and then add a frame hold. Now I'm going to hold alt and then drag the second clip up. And I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure the top clip is selected free draw bezier tool and then mask around your subject like so and make yours not as ugly as mine there you go and then now you have a cutout transition now 
I'm going to make this one longer. Let's say I want my effect to last longer. So I'm going to make it as long to about right here. I want the effect to finish right here. And all you need to do to make the effect longer is you just need to um, elongate your freeze frame before you nest it. So let's say like right here. And then I'm just gonna I'm going to nest it now. So right click nest. OK, go to the effects and then pick whichever one you want. So let's say this one. And then now you'll see you have a problem because it weighs first and then it goes into the cutout, which is not what we want. We want it to be backwards. Don't worry. All you need to do is right click the nested sequence, speed duration, reverse speed. So now it would go into a freeze frame into a distort away. And then again, if you want to customize it ourselves, select the nested sequence, effect controls, keyframe the position and go to the end a little bit and we'll move it to the right. And now we should have something like this. Yep. Now the presets come with 22 whole transitions. Some of them are a little bit the same, but they're all different in their own way. So what I'd say I like to do is some of my favorites would be the up and down, where would that be up and down shake. So I'm just going to put that on. And then here, let me reset the everything just like this. Okay, so if you look at it, it's just like an up and down shake. And what I like to do is I'm gonna give you some sauce tips right here. I just like to do this, I like to duplicate the nested sequence, move it to the left a little bit, and then position it like this. And then do it one more time. Position, move it to the left a little bit, position it like this. And now if you look at it, hopefully my computer doesn't break. You get something like that, which is the up and down. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, follow my IG, and help me out. Buy a preset. Thanks for watching.